Welcome to the David Ofula YouTube channel, the official home of politics, where we cover policy, war, cataclysmic world events, and traverse territory that our peers fear to tread upon. After Raila Odinga announced his bid for AU, he has begun making tactical moves that are designed to help him coast to victory. And in this video, I want us to decipher Raila's tactical deployment. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, here are some of the things that Raila has done to mitigate a loss ahead of the AU vote. Number one. We said it right here that if Tanzania decides to nominate former Tanzanian president Jakaya Kikwete, it will present serious problems for Raila Odinga. That's because Kikwete has massive support from several African heads of state, sitting and former. This is natural, of course, considering that he once upon a time served as the sitting president of Tanzania. But to avert the crisis, Raila has decided to meet Jakaya Kikwete one-on-one -on -one to convince him to stand down. He's the image of the same. Now that single move right there ensures that Raila will have no challenger emanating from the East African community block. That'll be a good solid start. Second thing Raila is doing to up his uh, international persona, he is now taking international funerals seriously. He even skipped out on Kevin Kiptum's funeral to attend the funeral service of Namibian president Haig Gottfried. Here are some of the images of Raila at the same funeral service. Now one thing is for sure, Raila made the trip to Namibia not only to pay his final respects, but also to lobby the new sitting president, Nangoli Mbumba, for his vote. Also worth noting, Ruto and Raila attended this same funeral service. Third thing Raila is doing to secure the bag, shortly after the funeral service in Namibia, Raila was seen in Uganda with Museveni and Ruto. Here are some images of the same. Now, I won't delve too much into that particular topic because I've done it in another video. However, you can rest assured that just like Raila was in Namibia to lobby for the president's vote, Bumba in specific, he was also in Uganda to lobby Museveni. Now, on the flip side, President Ruto has equally been assisting Raila in his efforts to become the African Union chair. Like you saw earlier, he was with Raila in Uganda as they were meeting Museveni. Same thing for Namibia. And even just as recent as yesterday, President Ruto hosted President Abiy Ahmed of Ethiopia and he lobbied him to vote for Raila. So when it's all said and done, everybody has done their part. We now leave the rest to God. Raila is attending any and all international funerals that are concerned with political players. He's equally going to visit people like Museveni and I know Museveni insisted that he will not vote for Raila unless Raila goes to Uganda because there is bad bile between the NRM and ODM. Like I said earlier, Junette Mohammed said that the NRM is a dictatorship. Again, Babu Owino, who is a Raila Odinga loyalist, is always in Uganda supporting Bobi Wine and insulting Yoweri Museveni. And equally, he has been hosting Bobi Wine here in Kenya. So Museveni feels that Raila, he just doesn't understand Raila Odinga and he requested a meeting that we must meet for me to find out who is this candidate. Why is he always attacking the NRM? And is he apologetic? So I feel the two have discussed and they've come out of the meeting with a good uh, consensus that Museveni will vote for Raila Odinga. In all honesty, Raila has done what he needs to do and President Ruto is spearheading the campaign for Raila. And having said that, I think he's in very good hands. The only thing that uh, Kenyans can do is pray for him because Atutaki Aibu in Kenya, it will be bad for us to give Amina Mohammed, she fails. We give Raila Odinga. So we want to see something different. We want to see a Kenyan at the African Union. It's time for change. It's time for the East African bloc. 
So we are hoping Raila can bring it home. Having said that, do drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.